Hi, this is Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, it's the second day of the January 6th hearings on Capitol Hill. It's been interesting to hear the uh, rhetoric about what they are investigating in these hearings. Um, we are being told by not only the Democrats and the Biden administration, but even by people like the FBI and some top military commanders, that what you saw on display on January 6th were people representative of and part of the greatest threat our country faces right now. Now think about what that means, the greatest threat our country faces right now. We've had ISIS and Al-Qaeda, we have myriad terror groups in not only the Middle East, but in Asia and Africa. We've had hackers uh, getting into sensitive installations and systems in our country. We have China and Russia who on a daily basis are testing the resolve and preparedness of the United States. But Horn Guy is part of the greatest threat facing our country. Okay, if that's true, then here's what your hearings really need to be about. The hearings need to be about this gross failure of national security. Did you infiltrate the plotters of January 6th? Did you uh, know they were coming? Um, obviously, the key question after any surprise or sneak attack on our country is, what did we know and when did we know it? That should be the focus. This really has very little to do with Donald Trump's speech. This has everything to do with the national security apparatus and preparedness of our country if, if as you claim, these people are our greatest threat, our greatest enemy. But you know what? They don't really believe that. They're just peddling that. And here's how you know they don't believe that. The Department of Justice and the other charging agencies involved to date have not charged a single person with insurrection or a related charge. In fact, there have been very few even felony charges that people have been charged with or pled guilty to. There was one, for example, where a person pled guilty to the felony of interfering with an official function because the vote certification on January 6th was delayed from morning until evening uh, as a result of the riot. But misdemeanors mostly, a few felonies, no insurrection charges. Now, I'm not saying that what happened was okay. It's far from okay. But stop lying about it. And if you believe what you're saying, start doing your job, which clearly you're not doing right now. We'll talk about it this afternoon between 4 and 7 on 550 and 107.1 KTSA. And our show is always on demand, available anytime on the Jack Riccardi page at KTSA.com.